Short stroking. I don't know if you've ever had a short stroking issue with uh, any of your carbines. Uh, I happen to have a short stroking issue with this particular one. And uh, what's happening here is uh, when the uh, when the bolt comes back, uh, it's not extracting the uh, spent shell, and it's forcing the, shent, the spent shell back into the chamber. And sometimes it. Uh, causes a double feed it'll bring a round out of the magazine and um, try to force the spent shell back into the chamber and you get that double feed and uh, I've been told a lot of different things it could be the extractor I checked all those things out but what I did find uh, which I'm pretty sure is the problem for this uh, short I mean is the reason for this short stroking is uh, has to do with the gas tube uh, and the gas block and I'll show you that in a minute okay I'm going to uh, dismantle everything here and uh, just to save time I'll pause it and come back when I've taken it apart okay um, I am um, not gonna break the whole barrel down I just uh, uh, took the rail cover off and uh, uh, as you can see here I have a low profile gas block and the problem I found here which I'm pretty certain is the problem if you can see that there the roll pin came out so the roll pin came out of the gas tube which holds it in place over the gas hole and you get this play back and forth in the gas tube so it's obviously misaligning that hole with uh, with the hole in the gas tube and therefore I'm not getting the gas I need to, to shove that bolt back so what I did was I ordered a new roll pin a little tiny tiny roll pin like that can shut your carbine down that right there so I'm going to install this roll pin uh, but first I have to remove the gas tube okay I've removed the uh, gas block and uh, so now what I have to do is I have to put that pin that roll pin inside there See if you can see that. It's not a good focus, is it? See right through that hole there. I have to put that pin in there and secure up this uh, gas tube, and it should fix my problem. And uh, once I get all that done, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm uh, cleaning up the gas tube here. Uh, you got a lot of carbon buildup on there. What I'm using is a uh, Scotch Guard. I'm not Scotch Guard, but uh, Scotch Bright. Scotch Guard. I think that's what you put on your sofa, right? Anyways, uh, cleaning this off real good. And uh, another good idea uh, is to blow down the tube. Make sure that the passage is clear because of. Uh, the misalignment causing the carbon buildup and actually on this here I just cleaned it up but right there you can still see it's a little bit dirty uh, that's where all the gases were hitting they were misaligned with the hole you can tell that by all the carbon that was built built up right there I don't know if you're getting a good view of that but uh, yeah, all the carbon was building up right there and not giving me enough gas to push the bolt carrier back. Okay, that looks to be clean enough. Uh, another thing you might want to check before you start putting this all together is the hole in your barrel. As you can see there, uh, just uh. You know, maybe put a little bit of a CLP down through there uh, or if you have action cleaner 
spray that down in there uh, to clean any carbon buildup that might be in there to make sure that you're getting uh, the gases coming through there. So uh, another thing, this is a low profile gas block that I have. Oops. Okay, dropping stuff. All right, this is a low profile gas block. And uh, I don't know if you can see inside there. Same with that, you might wanna clean any carbon buildup that you get inside of there and uh, make sure that you have a good, uh, you know, the gas is coming through there. Okay, I'll be back shortly. Okay, after a painstaking attempt of getting that roll pen in there, uh, I'm going to try and show you if you can see the hole lining up in there. I don't know if you're able to see that. I can see it, but I don't know if you're able to see it. But the, the hole in the tube is lined up with the hole in the gas block. And that's what you want. So got that pin in so I no longer have movement in the gas tube it's nice and secure I might have to take and pound that pin in a little bit more doesn't seem to want to line up and come out of that other hole it's partially out but it's like the holes not lined up in the gas tube correctly but that's in there that's not coming out I might have to just flush it down Okay, so I got the gas block back on, and uh, everything is lined up. Got my retaining pins there, and uh, we're going to have to go to the range and find out if that solved the problem. Short stroking. All right, I'm going to put my stuff back together. Thanks for watching.